this is AJ Stylex Zoo and welcome to another lovely tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make your off shoulder pattern. Though we'll not be making the sleeve for the pattern because we already made sleeve in our tutorials on different type of sleeve. So if you want to learn how to make the off shoulder sleeve, well check the link in the description box on how to make different types of sleeve. So today we'll be making our off shoulder pattern and we'll be using this pattern to make any you can use this pattern to make any dress either an off shoulder top or blouse or an off shoulder gown but we'll be using this pattern to make a very beautiful gown so watch out for the follow-up tutorial on i'm going to be using this pattern to draft a very beautiful gown with don't worry you will love to gown, and i'm sure you'll love that tutorial so well if you want to get notified when i drop that tutorial the video to that tutorial then better use the subscription button click on the subscribe button get subscribed so that you can get notified on the next tutorial and every other tutorial i'll be dropping or sharing with you and if you're a, an, an old subscriber i want to welcome you back and please always share our videos with our friends with your loved ones with your soulmate in sewing groups share it and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like on all our videos anyone you watch please if you have any questions after watching or on our previous videos you can leave me a message in the comment section i respond to you but let's get back to the workstation it's for our gown our off shoulder gown is our chest our bust our waist our hip our shoulder to nipple our half length and our gown length so these are the measurements we need and they have, we have the measurements written down here so if you don't know how to take your body measurement check the link in the description box also to learn how to take your body measurement so for your off shoulder it is off the shoulder this is a normal shoulder top this is the shoulder this is the arm o then the bust the waist and then the hip so wherever your gown stops maybe you have a slit or something but this is a normal shoulder gown so for your off shoulder it is starting from your shoulder like this you are removing a part of it to wherever you want so you take your tape and check where you want your off shoulder but there's a standard off shoulder there's a standard we, you use which is five inches from the shoulder to five inches is what to take up so if you take this off this is where the gown now we start from so this is the new gown so this is the off shoulder gown this is the new gown starting point you could just curve the neck in maybe do a design here and you're good to go so this partner is off so this is how you wear it and then you can make your off shoulder sleeve and so this is how to make this is your off shoulder gown so this is what we want to be making now so this five inches we're going to be taking it out so from our measurement we're going to be starting from five inches off but the neck we need to fold the neck or join it turn it with lining or something so whatever we are doing to the neck we are adding half inch but if you are folding the neck then you add one inch to fold it because it's just a tiny fold but if you are using facing or lining add half inch to that so but me i'm turning folding the neck round so i'll be folding it with one inch fold it inward with half then fold down that half so one inch plus from this five inches sorry it is four inches so i'll place my tape on four inches but if it was half inch i was just using to turn the neck i'd have left it on five and a half but this is the exact thing so you can still do it exactly like this but when you are cutting on fabric you add that inch so let me just do it like this when i'm cutting on fabric i add the whatever i'm turning or folding with so place our tape on five like this because this part now is off place our tape on five like this and i will take all our vertical measurement so this line let's draw a line first to start as our guide here we start our construction form so let's take this first this line as our chest line chest line so it's on this line now we start our measurement so this part is not useful so on this part now place our tape on five first of all you take your chest measurement you want to learn how to take your chest measurement check the link in the description box on active body measurement so whatever your chest measurement is you divide by two so this person's chest measurement is 13 divided by two is six and a half then your tape now being on five like this you come down your shoulder to your nipple 
whatever your shoulder to your nipple point is your shoulder to nipple you mark the points but don't forget that your arm o has a measurement normally when you're making your normal shoulder top you take your neck you take your slant your shoulder slant and then you take your arm o measurement and normally i use eight inches for arm o measurement so don't forget that your arm o measurement we are taking it so first of all let's take our arm o measurement the arm o of this person is eight inches you know some part is out so we'll mark eight inches so this line will be extending it this bust line will also be extending it that is 10.5 the nipple point from shoulder to nipple is the actual bust line so this is the bust line this is the arm o line so on this arm o line we take our bust measurement plus half inch the person's bust measurement is 9.5 that is 38 divided by by um four is 9.5 plus half inch is 10 so this is 10 this is the this is the shoulder line that is the uh, arm o line sorry where the arm o line stops this is the line then this is the bust line this is the chest line so this is where we marked now this measurement from here to here is the bust measurement divided by two bust sorry divided by four plus 0 0.5 why this measurement here is chest over two why here is bust over four there is no you are not adding any 0 0.5 so you connect this point to this point with a straight line so after connecting get the midpoint of the line this is five inches the midpoint is 2.5 come in by half inch if i one inch then connect here with a curve you could use your french curve you could use your free hand you could also use your french curve to get a perfect curve so this is it so this is the new arm hole of this person now because it's an off shoulder this is the shoulder part is out already then we'll continue with our construction we said here is on five this is the eight inches for the line we take our arm o. this 10.5 to take our boss measurement so we take the boss measurement 9.5 and this is a boss measurement we still place it on five on our starting point line of five then we take the half length the half length is 16 then shoulder to hip is 25 then the gown length is we are using a gown length of 40 we are using a gown length of 42 inches so this is it this is the gown length so now in these places now we take we said we, we took our half length this half length this is a hip line and then this is our gown length so on the half length we just rule the lines first of all this is our half length that is the where we take our waist measurement this is our shoulder to hip where we take our hip measurement and this is our gown length where we take our gown measurement so on the half length we take the waist measurement on the half length we say waist over four so the waist divided by four this person's waist is 34 divided by four is 8.5 so just mark 8.5 then the person's hip is 44 divided by four hip over four hip is 44 divided by four is 11 so we'll just mark 11 on this line then on the hem of the gown because it's a pencil gown if it's a straight gown we'll mark the same hip measurement on the hem here the same 11 now because a fitted gown will subtract one inches from it or if you can go as much as two inches so i want to subtract one and a half which is it will be nine and a half so this is it so i'll connect these points together now to form our gown so connect the bust the arm o to the bust and then the bust to the waist the waist to the hip And then the hip to the hem of the gown so you could just shaping this with a curve because the hip is not pointed it's curvy you could curve in the waist as well curving curve the wave in the waist inward as well because it's not pointed it's curving so this is it so this is a basic off shoulder gown but the chest we don't need it to be straight so you can choose a neckline of your choice so if you want to know how to Construct different neckline. Well, check the link in the description box also on how to construct 
your different type of neckline so i'll be coming down by two inches you can come down by whatever you want come down by two inches and then i'll be connecting it with a curve because i want a sweetheart neckline connecting it with the curve back into this line to give me a sweetheart neckline so you could just do it straight you could do it v whatever shape you want whatever type of neckline you want for your off shoulder so i'll be cutting this out the paper is on fold I, I i i left it on fold so that you could see the effect when it's open so when you're cutting your back pattern it's the same principle but it's just that for your back you don't need any neck you just leave it straight or come or come down only by half inch but don't come down more than half inch if you're coming down more than half inch well maybe you just want a special style but so just for the basic off shoulder just come down by half inch for the back pattern but for the front pattern you can come down to as much as you want it's your choice So this is my pattern now it is cut out so you can see the sweetheart neck forms at the neck i said if you don't want a sweetheart neck you could still come down by the two inches and then just take it straight you don't need to do the curve but this is an off shoulder gown pattern so i'll become using this pattern with the sleeve pattern already from our previous tutorial on how to cut off shoulder sleeve i'll be using them to cut on fabric in a follow-up tutorial and then i'll make a special gown so for your back pattern you're cutting the same thing but the difference is you don't need to do this neckline you don't need a sweetheart neck at the back of your gown or your top you could use this for a top pattern if i was using this for a top pattern i will stop here so this is the hip line just for me to stop here curve the hip give it whatever shape i want and then this is a blouse but if i want this for a gown then i go this length to whatever length i want for a gown so this is basically how to make an off shoulder pattern so if you're cutting on fabric don't forget to add your allowances you add your half inch here if you're turning it with lining or facing or one inch if you're folding the m or one and half whatever inch you want to use for your arm o you add half inch to join this arm o to the sleeve arm o then for the side you add whatever inch you want to use for your sewing allowance and then at the end you add whatever inch you're using to aim it so this is basically how to make your off shoulder gown i'm sure you enjoyed this tutorial it's easy right so this is how to make your off shoulder gown or top or your blouse whatever you want to call it and then you can give it a different type of neckline designs of your choice so you could just check the description link for the tutorial on how to take your body measurements how to make your off shoulder sleeve and how to make different necklines well see you in, the, in my next tutorial when i'll be using this pattern to create a very beautiful gown Thank you for watching. Bye.